If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Check out Potan Store. It's a fantastic website with instant email delivery on all the code cards you could possibly want for PTCGO. And if you use Tailmon code when you're checking out, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailwind code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher World 2020. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be playing some standard. Um, I know a lot of people have cops and whatnot. We do have Daleks, Dallas Expanded Regional coming up next weekend, which I have been practicing a ton for. However, um, outside of that, um, there's Bulk of Regionals in Germany this weekend, which should be pretty cool um, to see what happens in standard and how the meta has developed so far. It feels like ages ago we had our um, last regional, which was San Diego. But, um, well, we had um, other events around the world as well, but definitely the first events, the first um, big events for 2020 will be happening this weekend in Germany. Next, we have Dallas, and then afterwards we have Sao Paulo, Brazil. So should be pretty cool to see what happens in standard. I wanted to play a few games with my current ADP list, which um, is still pretty similar to what I ended up using in San Diego, but it does have the inclusion of the double axle, which is really cool um, to have. It really messes up with other Jirachi reliant decks, including sometimes your own, which there is merit to potential to play for Switch on my skateboard. Um, but overall, the deck still stays relatively the same. We have ADP for Alter Creation GX. So we get an extra price card and we deal 30 extra damage. And then we have Ultimate Ray to power up. And um, if you don't have a million packs to trade for Jirachi, what can you sub? Uh, Sparty Pants. I don't think Jirachi is replaceable in this list. Um, there's like a Nodino that... If it's your active Pokemon, you can draw a card with it. Um, I guess that's the next best thing. Um, you could play Impersonate Mimikyu as well, but that requires an attachment. Um, there's really, like, there's generally no replacement for Jirachi. Like, if you don't have Jirachi, you're better off trying out um, something like the ADP with Articuno Sabdos Moltres deck that I uploaded today on YouTube, if you wanna check that out, um, which uses ADP and a Greens engine. But Without um, without Jirachis, I don't think this deck can can consistently work, right? Um, so yeah, we have ADP for that, and then we have Pure Heart, which prevents effects of attacks including damage done to his Pokemon by your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX. This card will be going down in value quite a bit after um, Certain Shield comes out because V Pokemon will be out, and Kelio does not have protection protection against B Pokemon, which is a big deal. Um, you just open up 10 plus packs and no Jirachi's party pants. Well, I think it's much better to, to trade for them than to open packs. It's usually always going to be better to accumulate those 10 packs and then keep adding to your tally in order to, um, in order to save up for Jirachi's. I think that's always going to get the best value out of, um, out of your packs. I don't know where my codes are, but I intend to give out a bunch of codes today um, because I have a new system that I'm hoping will work. So for those of you who are watching, especially Sparty Pants, if you want to have a chance at winning a code, um, make sure you keep on watching as I'll be giving them out throughout the stream. All right. So um, the engine does rely on Cynthia and Cynthia Caitlin along with Tackle. We have Rosa, which is fantastic as it allows us to search for like energy, reset stamp, and whatnot. We have Guzmahala, Counter Gain, uh, Ford Counter Gain, Rainbows, and Stadium. So there's a lot going on. Um, pretty solid deck for sure. Pretty, pretty solid deck for sure. And so let's jump into uh, this expanded so I can't use some of the cards. 
Let's jump into ADP and see what happens. And while we find the game, let me look for my code. Um, So we win the coin flip. I would like to go first and ah, okay. <laughs> So definitely want to start ADP, don't want to start the Dene. Um, going first, starting ADP, that's pretty okay. What do I think of the new no supporter on first turn rule and elimination of fairy Pokemon? Well, I mean, they're interesting changes, that's what I think. Like I've been playing this game for so long, for 17 years, that um, the game keeps changing every year, every season, every set, basically. So it seems like a like a weird thing, I guess. And I'm sure if people are just starting out playing, it might seem like something that's very drastic or whatnot. Um, okay, I'm gonna tackle here. I'm gonna grab Guzma Halad. Guarantees the energy for next turn, which I think is pretty important. And actually, Syntekid one seems better. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Goose Mahala, the Cynthia. I don't know what I'm up against, right? Um, so yeah, they're pretty interesting. I'm actually very sad that they're getting rid of fairy type Pokemon. Um, like, obviously, there will still be Sylveon and Gardevoir cards printed and Alcremia and whatnot. Um, it's just very sad to see that they will no longer have the, um, <clears throat> the fairy typing and they will be psychic. Uh, because I have historically done pretty well with Gardevoir GX, which is obviously fairy type. Um, on the other hand, it makes me very happy because when I decide to fully foil out my Gardevoir GX deck, um, all the cards should be cheaper, so that should be pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are changes, right? And Joe Bro, thank you so much for using your Twitch Prime subscription on the channel. Thank you so, so much. Very, very kind of you. So they are interesting changes, and I think for the most part, it's a way to shake up the game. Um, the first turn rule is a way to balance it as well. So I honestly don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. I really don't mind it at all. Um, it'll change the game, yes. Is it good or bad? I don't think you can really argue either way until we've actually played with it that and experimented it. Um, the scene in Japan is thriving as always, so I honestly don't see any problem with it. Um, it's a new change, it's something different, it puts people out of their comfort zone, and that's something that a lot of people do not particularly enjoy, but, I mean, it's part of the game, right? It's part of the game. Wow, three welders gone. Okay, so I'm definitely not getting KO'd next turn. Well, definitely it's a strong word. I am very likely not getting KO'd next turn. And yeah, my opponent very sad. Very sad that he's just not drawing quite well. Um, like by seeing my Lopani, we could have assumed two things: either Guardian or Mewtwo, right? Um, maybe Green's Charizard. So I'm not super super upset about this. Um, the fact that all the Wellers are gone is great. Because usually the strategy against Mewtwo is you'll try to use your GX for a single metal and then power up Keldeon and start pressuring that way. Um, my opponent might be able to bench the Greninja GX. That might be his last card. No, it's not. Okay, so we just need to be very careful with with that, right? Um, okay, definitely attaching. I think getting rid of the skateboard is the best card here, since I already have a Jirachi down. Grab back the Synthium. And that's really nice to see. That's actually really cool to see. Um, 
this gives us Kelville, which I'm definitely going to be benching now since I have a switch in hand already. And one great catcher is gone. Um, and then we'll alter creation. And then next turn, we have a very nice, easy ultimate ray onto that Jirachi or possibly onto the Marshadow. I could have considered playing the Totem Gatcher onto the Marshadow. That probably would have helped a bunch in stopping precisely that. Um, though targeting Jirachi is also pretty good. So we'll have to see. Does my opponent find his last welder off of this Stella Wish? That would be insane. That would actually be insane. It's so unlikely. No, he finds a Palvat. Okay, so we'll have more welders. Right, he will have more welders. He will have more welders. Alright. So goes on to attach. And then I'd imagine he retreats here to protect it, to protect the Jirachi. That would make sense, right? Yep. But we have the custom catchers, which is Insane. We know what card my opponent has in his hand, so there's no way we prevent this KO. Well, that's perfectly fine by me. We'll go ahead and attach, and then my opponent goes attach and GX KOs us. Um, so I think a Cynthia is fine here. Just get more resources into my hand. I get another Cynthia, I get the reset stamp. Um, might as well use one of the switches that I have. And we'll still wish. Grab this? Well, no. Rosa is probably better. Yeah. Because, well, I guess because the Jirachi's benched is fine. Like, but Rosa could get me Giraffe, right? So that's also pretty nice. So then, well, I mean, I could have, like, gone after this. Maybe that was better, actually. Maybe going after the Mewtwo was better, since I knew exactly what he was going to do. Yeah, that was probably way better. You target the Mewtwo, you make yourself less susceptible to Reset Stamp. And... Um, and then you're in a pretty good spot. Right? Okay, we get Custom Catchers, another Reset Stamp, and Grape Catcher. So we're, we're, we are in a fantastic spot. And Jobro, I have not played any VG events yet, no. Um, I will probably be playing some in the future. Um, we'll see. It's just, it's like, it's spending an extra day doing Pokemon stuff, right? But, oh wow, he top decked Church Ball. Okay, so, really cool that we have a reset stamp here. Um, well, I mean, okay, so, why would I reset stamp, actually? If, if I'm hoping he will discard the... the Greninja rather than bench it, then I shouldn't, right? Because I, do I care that my opponent has a bunch of cards in his hand? Like, I care simply because he might reset stamp me back, but by him having less cards in hand, I mean, he's down two charge rolls. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. We'll have to decide right now, though. Okay. <sighs> There's no point in using Draffer right now since there's no Greninja here. Yeah, I've, yeah, I'll probably just end up attacking, right? Let's grab that. Let's grab. I think the Swell will also help in stopping the Greninja. And then let's go ahead and grab an Energy. Uh, that Kelda should have been Draft Break. Ideally, let's finish Stella Wishing. Okay, we can tackle, that's nice. And then I definitely don't think I'll be needing this, so I can thin that. Right, so I can definitely thin that, so then we'll go play that. And then we'll reset stamp. So I am playing the reset stamp to reduce the chance that my opponent heals. That's the whole the whole idea behind this. Uh do I even attach the energy? I mean, there's merit to it, but it's not that impactful, I don't think. We'll just Sonic Edge, and we'll see what my opponent gets. Worst case scenario is he gets Malolana plus Greninja GX, so then he discards everything, benches on the Greninja. 
Um, but then we mellow Lana ourselves, and then we attack again. And my opponent would be at zero. Well, no, he wouldn't be at zero cards again. He would have three. We'll see. Hopefully, this is game though. No reset stamps gone. There's the reset stamp. <laughs> well, that's bad news. Do get four cards. Not the best four cards, but we do get four cards. And then my opponent has to retreat. Understandably so. Understandably so. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Chrome. Window. This one. One second, transform, fit screen, there we go. Okay. So I'm getting the the giveaway ready. I'm, I'll try to remember after every game of giving out a, <clears throat> a code, okay? I think Rosa is good here. I didn't, dream. I didn't even pay attention to what my opponent drew. Okay, so do I did it change here? Do I actually did it change or should I simply be patient? I'm honestly not sure. Um, still no Greninja. I think I'll just be patient and just Sonic Edge. What did my opponent get? Oh, there's Giraffe Egg, so I couldn't grab Giraffe Egg. I didn't even realize. Uh, retreated. Play preset stamp. And then put your Achi onto the bench, retreat it, you still a wish. Oh found welder, okay. Not the biggest of deals. Okay, so what happens now? What happens now? Do you still expect to see a lot of Kill GX when Sword and Shield comes out? No, definitely not, Joe Bro. Um Shiny Gengar, I'm not playing with viewers today, I'm sorry. Wow, back to back reset stamps, come on. Um I'm not playing with viewers today, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, do I dare change now? Not my opponent has one card in hand and has um yeah. It has nothing going for him, so I think it's worth it to go for this. So yeah, definitely no Kelly GX and Sword and Shield format because they don't help you. Um, they don't help you or they don't do anything for you in terms of... Um, uh, like, Keldeo doesn't protect against the V Pokemon, so it's just, it's kind of useless. It's kind of pretty useless. And there we go. We draw double custom catchers against all odds. And we shall take the KO for the win. Alright. So my brother didn't do anything wrong. He just like he got pretty unlucky off of having so many welders before the dead change, and therefore he wasn't able to turn to 300 my my ADP, which sounds funny, but it's actually quite common. Okay. So, I have the first code ready to give away, okay? What you need to do to participate into the, um, into the giveaway, which will happen, um, which will happen immediately, okay, is simply type Tablemon, okay? As the chat says, if you type Tablemon, you'll be entered into the code giveaway, and I'll direct message this on Twitch, whoever wins the whoever wins okay so all you need to do is type tablemon to be able to get a code card everyone has a chance and obviously um fix mellow is currently the entry there you go So if you want to win the code, simply type Tailmon in chat 
and you will be entered automatically as you can see on your screen right now so we'll give it a little bit a few more seconds a few more seconds a few more seconds Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's one, two, three, six. Huh, there's someone missing. Vex Mello, Chobro, Rankinho Belisario, Hutardis. I don't know, T-Pain 1988. It's because you used um, caps on Tablemon. Yeah, so make sure you type Tablemon without the cap. That's silly that it... Um, that it counts that. So TPA 1988, if you're still there, make sure you type Tableman without the capital T so that you are entered in the in the giveaway. Uh, okay, so there you go. Okay, so now we'll roll. And Belisario, Belisario ends up winning the giveaway. So let me message you. Let me message you the code. Belisario. And whilst that happens, we'll continue with our playthrough. Okay. So Belisario, I will whisper you the code. Congratulations on winning and thank you so much for watching. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple code giveaway or code giveaway system, right? Pretty simple giveaway system, but it's quite effective, I think. It's quite, quite effective. All right, so we get to go first. We do get to go first. And at the end of the stream, I will be giving out a $10 voucher for Potom store okay I'll be giving out a $10 voucher for Potom store with using the same system so make sure you are tuning in all the way till the end okay this is either Malamar or Tina Chump right you can see either Malamar or Tina Chump um, still worth it to go for the ADP I believe and Attaching the rainbow, that way we don't have to worry about um, what other energy we get, right? And I kind of want to use the Cynthia, I also kind of don't want to use it. Um, I think it's awesome. And Vixmelo, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for your kind words. That's very, very kind of you to say. Very, very kind of you to say. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Support on YouTube has definitely been very big on the decline for some reason. Well, probably because of COPA and stuff. So it's definitely always um, nice to hear that people appreciate the videos and the advice and whatnot. Thank you so much, Pixmel. Thank you so much. Okay, so my opponent will end up using Roxy. Draw six cards. Placing a damage counter onto each of my Pokemon. The damage counter on the kill is especially important, right? Because um, because of the um, because of the Mimikyu that they're gonna play in this Roxy Tina Jump. However, however, um, well, with the Karate Belt, my opponent threatens to GG and my my dude. Right, and because that's the threat and not the KO, I feel like I'm gonna alter creation with two energies. Hello, I would study. Thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? All right, there's a Mistrevis. We're assuming my opponent has a Mismagus in her hand, not for this turn, I guess, but possibly for next turn. Uh, we'll definitely attach there. There's no way her three cards are Roxy plus double wheezing, right? So this is 100% surviving. I'm pretty sure. 100% surviving. I'm going to go ahead and tackle for these two. 
how's ADP Keldo working for me? Snooth Snoothaker, <laughs> that's hard to pronounce. Um, it's working out pretty nicely. I actually got top eight with it at a regional, so that was pretty cool. That was really really cool, and um, yeah, can't complain. This is a fantastic deck, I'd say. Okay, I'm gonna bench that guy, and then I'm gonna alter creation. Snus, there you go. <laughs> That's easier to pronounce indeed. Yeah, but cop tomorrow and you're debating between Roxy Chump or regular Tina Chump. Ooh, my opponent has Lurbal. Does she actually have Roxy? Oh no, she gets back the... Okay, so she might, actually, she might. Um, I, I actually think I like regular Tina Chump a little bit more. Like, overall, it feels like a... A nicer deck, if you will. A nicer deck, like a more consistent deck. I feel like relying Roxy. It's 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 a very good card when you pull it off, but pulling it off is not super consistent. However, as I say that, my opponent actually <laughs> pulls off the two card rock, the two damage counter Roxy, and because of my Rainbow Energy. She will be able to knock me out. Oof. So this is actually pretty scary here. Really want to make Turbo Dark Cry work again. Um, I mean Turbo Dark Cry. You mean in expanded or in standard? Hmm. Wow, not bad, right? Not bad. Not a bad start for my opponent. I mean, Turbo Dark is is probably one of the top decks in Expanded. Turbo Dark is probably one of the top, top decks in Expanded. Okay, there's the Mimikyu. There is the Mimikyu. So my Keldu GX no longer has its ability. However, I can simply bench a brand new Keldu, right? Although my opponent does have three old prizes like on board. Uh, I can also heal this Keldeo, right, with Valo Lana to reactivate its ability. Oh, I sent it as a direct message on Twitch. Yeah, look for your direct messages on Twitch. <laughs> are you are you on a on a web browser or are you on a um are you on a web browser or are you on mobile? I guess that's the first question. Um, okay, so we'll do that, and then I'll do this Rosa. Okay, my other, my other person is prized. Okay, so I definitely need that. I definitely want that. And then I guess I grab a tackle. No, how how on earth do I ever heal this Keldu? We assume my opponent doesn't mind fighting and can't KO me. Um, I guess it the oh no, I need a Pokemon, what am I saying? Um, maybe I just go for another ADP? Nah. I'm at a loss here as to what Pokemon to get. Maybe another Jirachi. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and Stellwish. There's the Malo Lana. I kind of feel like I need... Well, you know what? Assuming this gets KO'd, I can simply go Costume Catcher KO that. And then that should be fine. So as long as we don't get reset stamped. Oh, I should have attached the counter game though, I guess. Have you found it, Belisario? Well, there's the energy. Does she GG end? My Keldeo? If she GG ends my Keldeo, I'm just gonna scoop. Not Mimikyu. If you GG ends my Keldeo, I'll simply scoop, I think. Hopefully, she tries to, like, just win the game by prizes and she's confident on the Mimikyu. Um, so, hello, Pratissimo. Hi, Roots Daddy. Thoughts on the, all the changes Pokemon made? I mean, they're interesting changes. <laughs> you found it, Belisario? Awesome. That's good. 
That is good to hear. Um, they're interesting changes, Hyrux Daddy, that's for sure. I <clears throat> It's gonna shake up and change the game. We already knew about all of them, I think, but I'm pretty sure. Wow, double rocks yet again. That's crazy. Um, does she simply KO the Keldo then? I really want her to just attack. Please don't GG end. She has the energy for GG end. My stamp was completely useless. Um, so yeah, there are interesting changes. The turn one supporter will probably be for balance. The no more fairy Pokemon definitely makes me sad because I really like Gardevoir because I did well with it at Worlds. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are changes we just need to keep adapting. Um, I've been playing for 17 years, so I've seen so many changes happen, right? So, so many changes happen that I don't think it's that big a deal. Okay, so my opponent did not KO the Jirachi and... What? Okay, so what is my plan here to KO that, right? If I kill the Mimikyu, I should be in a good spot. Kind of, probably, I hope. Um, right? So if I find, I use Stella Wish first, and if I find a switch, I can even heal myself? That was not the case, however. So I'll grab the other thing. And then I'll do this. I'll bench this, and then I guess I Cynthia. We're looking for switch plus. We're looking for switch. Well, now I'm looking for an energy, right? But we were looking for switch plus um, Malolana. The thing is, like, if my opponent already has five power plant, then she's already won. We are down to two prizes, so if we manage to find the other custom catcher, we will actually be okay. Um, my opponent will probably resist that me to one based on that play of promoting the Mischievous. Um, greens means no Fava plus Power Plant, right? At least not this turn. Probably next turn, but not, not this turn. You don't think their add on Quick Ball was good, I wrote? Why? Why don't you think their add on Quick Ball was good? I mean, it means more accessibility to cards, right? Only very stubborn people will end up using the older Quick Balls. Right, just play the new quick ball and it's fine. Uh what? Is my opponent actually gonna Does he think does she think this works when she has three prizes? They got a pretty good hand, honestly. I think he should have used this before the reset time, but I guess she had to use the reset time to even draw a card. I think her plan was to KO me with Blossephalon, but that's not going to work, my friend. That is not going to work. Yeah. Hello, user redirected. They have completely different texts. Yeah, that's true. Um, I agree that they should have simply kept the older quick ball as the older one and then um, make it illegal for play and that's okay. I mean, I generally think out of all the things, that's the least impactful one, probably. Okay, so is my opponent holding Faba Power Plant now? I did find the energy, which is nice. There is no way I find... Um, yeah, double custom, right? But this is what I was hoping to find. This is fantastic. So are we going to beat the BDIF right here? My opponent might end up choosing to retreat or having to retreat. And yeah, I'm pretty sure she thought that because she was at three prizes, she would be able to use plus Cephalon, but no, it's when I'm at three prizes. So my opponent had a, a very easy when if she simply GG ended my um, 
if she simply GG ended my my Keldeo, she chose to linear attack it for whatever reason. So um not the best not the best call right there. Okay. So back to a, another code giveaway, okay? The code is now code. Okay? So in order to in order to win the next code, all you need to do is type code in the chat and you'll be entered for a new giveaway of a code card. You'll be entered for a new giveaway for the code card. In the meantime, you know, I'll give it a few seconds. I will add my face cam. There we go. Not that big. And you can see some of the mess that I have over here. Thank you so much for the follow, the Carter. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, okay. I should simply. And Astinia, hey man, thank you so much for the host. You guys arrived just in time. I am giving away a code card for the PTCGO game online. All you need to do is type code in chat and welcome everyone from the Astenia stream. Thank you so much, man. How was your stream? How was your stream? Astenia, for those of you who play the video game, he does daily max, daily G max shiny raids. So thanks to him, I am now the owner of three shiny G max Norlaxes and a shiny hidden ability Char G Max Charizard. So definitely give him a follow. Wait, the code was already used, Belisario? Okay, I will send you another one. Don't worry. That's really odd that it was already used. I will send you another one, okay? <laughs> Good night, Asinia. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. So in order to win the code, you can use you just need to type code in the chat. Right? We'll give it a few more seconds. We will give it a few more seconds. And <laughs> no, Ivan, porque mucha gente quiere jugar y no, no puedo darle preferencia a alguien por encima de otra persona. You just need to type code without the exclamation mark. Yeah, you just need to type code as it's shown in front. Okay, so we will roll and figure out the winner of this I, like the codes I have are mixed, yeah, so I don't know what codes I'm giving you guys. And user redirected, user redirected, congratulations on winning. Congratulations on winning. Let's go back and I will send you that code. And at Belly Sario, I will send you another one. Okay, let's do one more game of ADP. No worries, Belisario. Thank you for letting me know. It's simple. It's very good that you let me know. Yeah. Okay. So here's another code, Belisario, to make up for the one that was apparently already used. Six MX WMB. Okay. So Belisario, I just sent you the other code, and user redirected. I will whisper you the other code, and I do want to go first. GL9 PGRY Yeah, you, I, for a second I thought I was showing the, the thing. Oh wow, PTC Joe moved. Uh, thank you to PJ. Okay, so I sent you the code. PTC Joe has been off center this whole time. Fit to screen, there we go. So yeah, thank you so much for the host, Asinia. Very kind of you. For those of you who don't know me, I am a streamer, <laughs> right? Well, at least you know that much, I guess. Um, I am a professional Pokemon TCG player who also enjoys diving into the video game. And we have been, um, I've been decently successful at the game for the last almost two decades. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I provide high level gameplay, high level analysis in my videos and in my streams for those, for, you, for those of you who want to learn about the game and play it competitively. 
All right, so my opponent going for the double. Jirachi, my hand is completely dead, so I, there's nothing I could have done. Now it worked with Hario, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm glad it worked for you. <laughs> I'm glad it worked for you. And that emote is pretty cool, by the way. That emote is pretty cool. Okay, so what did my opponent get off the second salvage? Oh, nothing? Wow. Is this like an ADP mirror match? Because of that chaotic spell? Alright, well, that is a very welcome top deck, that's for sure. That is a very, very welcome top deck. Okay, we're playing like a theme deck. Attach energy and pass. Attach energy and pass. It didn't work? User redirected? Okay, don't worry. Do not worry. I will send you another one. Yeah, I know, I, like, I'm hoping you are honest. I know you guys are honest. All you need to do is let me know and I will happily send you a code to make up for the one that's already been used. I'm surprised that I have some mixed up that are already been used, but there you go. Let me know if that one works. And Jedi, I'm doing well, thank you. How about yourself? How are you doing? How are you doing? No worries, user redirected. Let me know if this new one works. I'm very thirsty, I need water. I'll go grab water after this. Okay. All right. So what do you what do you think of the giveaway system? It's pretty simple, right? It's pretty simple. Pretty simple and effective. Okay. Uh, I didn't quite catch. Okay, so this is ADP, that's for sure. Um, I disagree with that play. I definitely don't agree with attaching to the Drampa. Like, if you want to make a comeback in this match, you need to commit to attaching to ADP. Finding an ADP off of that Tetene. That one worked awesome. Mm -hmm. And no worries, Jedi. <laughs> I saw you were streaming, so I was like, yeah. I'll come hang out for a bit. I didn't get to watch much, but the game you were playing looked interesting. <laughs> no worries at all. I mean, you stop by all the time on my stream, so why wouldn't I stop by on your stream? Okay, so we get to start attacking here, which is pretty nice. Do I even need to do anything else? Like, I could Cynthia, but what am I looking for? I'm putting five cards back and then... I feel like Cynthia Caitlyn is better with um, <clears throat> with an ADP draw. Um, so I'll discard Cynthia to get back Cynthia, so we're essentially not losing any resources. And... Absol seems like a pretty good good card to put down, as is the Jirachi. Now, especially now that I have Tackle, I can go for Goose Mahala. And then we'll Sonic to take our first prize card. No Alter Creation just yet for us, but that's okay, right? That's okay, based on my opponent's very bad and slow start. Okay, you built a rocket ship to leave the planets. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So what is the game about? What is the game actually about? Okay, I'll probably edit out the, the giveaway parts from the from the final video, I guess. But yeah, if you're watching on YouTube in the future, right? <laughs> um, we do giveaways on Twitch. Yeah, we do code giveaways on Twitch. Um, I'm trying to do one after every game. And at the end of the stream, I'll definitely be giving out a $10 voucher for Potan's Door. Okay, so that was a terrible game for my opponent. So, new giveaway. The keyword will now be simply table. Okay, so if you want to be entered into the giveaway, simply type table in the chat and you will be entered into <clears throat> the giveaway to win a code card okay so 
all you need to do is type table, make sure it's um, with the, um, not caps, yeah. I forgot how to say that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can see everything starts filling up automatically. It's very easy. I'm gonna go get some water. You guys keep typing tailmon and I'll be right back. Hey Alex, <laughs> good afternoon. The giveaway is for a TCG code that I will direct message you on Skype. All you need, I mean, not on Skype, <laughs> on Twitch. All you need to do is type table in order to be entered into the giveaway. Okay, so let's roll, let's stop, and let's roll the winner. Who Tardis? Who Tardis is the winner? of our next code. So I'll be messaging you that and I will actually be right back in just a second with our next deck, which will be our beloved Malamar. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 